The diaphragm is a muscle that cuts across between the chest and stomach. When the diaphragm, which is bulging upwards, contracts, it goes down. And consequently, the lungs get bigger, so we breathe in. The air that comes in goes into the lungs through the larynx, trachea, and bronchi. You know that the heart leans a bit to the left, right? Therefore, the left lung is smaller than the right lung. The lung and heart are protected by the ribs. This is similar to how the brain is protected by the skull. Shall we count the ribs? The first rib is not too clear due to its shortness, but it still can be seen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve pairs of ribs. The trachea divides into the right and left bronchus. Compared to the left bronchus, the right bronchus is thicker, shorter, and more vertical. The right bronchus is divided into the superior lobar bronchus, middle lobar bronchus, and inferior lobar bronchus. The left bronchus is divided into the superior lobar bronchus and inferior lobar bronchus. The left lung is smaller than the right lung, and this is why the left lung does not have a middle lobar bronchus. The superior lobar bronchus, middle lobar bronchus, and inferior lobar bronchus also divide and become segmental bronchi. There are too many segmental bronchi, so I only labeled one of them. In this image, you can see the right bronchus being divided into the superior lobar bronchus middle lobar bronchus, and inferior lobar bronchus. The bronchus is thinner than the organs. The lobar bronchus is thinner than the bronchus, and the segmental bronchus is thinner than the lobar bronchus. Also, when the segmental bronchus divides even more, it becomes the alveolus, which is not easily seen.